So currently, it's been working perfectly well. We're able to set up the, the page to display a list of countries and we're able to click on the Add New button to add a new, uh, uh, a new country in the list, making a post request and making a get request as well. So this is what we did in the last class. Today we are now going to be doing, a, uh, we're going to be talking about details and put. I mean, details is to just display the details because if you look at the, if you look at the, the actions, you see details, edit and delete. So let's display the, the selected form, the selected item. That's very important to display what the user selected on a form. And that's what we are going to be talking about uh, right now. The step-by-step -step is here, so I think I'll follow the step-by-step. -step. Now you need to understand the theory of how it works, and that's what I've, based, I've explained here, how it works. When the user clicks on edit, we will call the function to open a model. Then we pass two parameters across, the model that is being opened, and the selected record. Then the function, in the function, you will display the record on the model using get element by ID dot set attribute and that is very 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 simple all right so um let's start now i would like to recommend you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed hit on the sub uh, subscribe button below so that you subscribe you don't miss any update from me if you have any challenges please do let me know in the comment box write me a comment and tell me uh, what challenges you may have or how this have benefited you if you want to support me as well buy me a coffee or support me in other ways all right, so the step, step one says copy and paste the ng template block of code. So the same ng template block of code here, we want to paste it. Now instead of calling this my dialog, I'm, go I'm going to call this as dialog, as dialog, as dialog to indicate that this is the, the dialog or the model that is for posting a new request. Now there's going to be error, so I'm going to go to the box in here and I'm going to call this as dialog and I'm also going to go to the TS file. I think I should also, yes, okay, so I think everything should be fine. So let me just make sure I've not broken anything. Let's see. Uh, let me refresh and then click on new perfectly well. Now the look and feel, the appearance and the design of this form we're going to be talking about later. I want for now for you to understand the cons the key concept of making get post and put uh, request as well as delete uh, to an API from Angular. So the next step says copy the ng template block ng um, ng template. So the ng template for the as or for the post we're going to copy. It. So let's see. So this is ng template for the for the post. So I'm going to copy it and simply rename it to to um, edit, what are we working on? We are talking about, and in this case, we are talking about our details model. So I'm going to call it details, uh, add, sorry, detail dialog. So this is the ng template. I'm going to copy it and just duplicate it for more time. So I'm going to paste it here. And now I'm going to change this to uh, detail dialog, details. And I'm going to say uh, selected country details instead of new country details. I'm going to say selected country details. And now the instruction, let's try to follow the step by step. Change the IDs of the controls. This is because you can't have duplicate names in a form. So change to change the, the names because you can't have the same names because we already have the same names for the post. So let's change the names. So in case of the um, we have first name is called it F name. So capital of uh, capital should be uh, C P L. Let's just call it C P L. Um, then the code should be C O D. Um, yeah. So nationality should be N L T nationality NLT and the continent should be uh, I think I'm, yeah the continent should be CNT and so let's make all of them three three letters so CNT for uh, continent NLT for nationality COD for code CPL for capital 
and th th this one oh, actually this is going to be the uh, DCR for description and this is going to be for the uh, sorry so there is what I change here is going to be this uh, DCR okay so we are now going to in this case it says take out all attributes from the labels <laughs> so say take out all attributes from the labels uh, so this is take out all attributes from the label. So this is more or less optional. For instance, we have this um, four. I mean, these four attributes. Um, maybe you need it. Maybe you don't. For now, let's just leave it. Um, the ng template change from contents to contents details. So uh, in this case, ng template. So I'm going to call the details dialog. We already did that. Remove all ng, mo ng model. So in this case, we are not doing. So we have to remove this ng model because we are not doing. Uh, we are not binding it in any way uh, using Angular. We are going to be using JavaScript or TypeScript to actually display the selected item. Later, we are going to talk about reactive forms. Reactive forms actually do two way binding easily. Um, but for now, let's just follow the procedure. Okay, so we have ID, class name. So actually, we can also remove the names instead of having the names here. So I'm going to just remove them. Uh, the names here will just go. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to remove this as well. Okay. So the next step says, at this point, your form is going to look like this, and we are going to remove this, uh, this one here. So let me just take out this. So it's going to be just form slash form. We are not submitting this form in any way. Okay, so, um, so the next step says, um, we need to write the TypeScript code to display the model for uh, the selected item. Okay, so we have to go to the table so add this code to the details both into the table to the table this is uh, the first the, the bottom for details is the first one so the bottom here i'm going to add a code the click uh the click is equal to open details and specify the content details that is the content details actually it's not the content details but we call it details dialog details dialog and the second parameter is uh, country so this second parameter represents the country that was selected okay the reason is because we have less country or country so each of these countries represents the particular record in that row which if you select that it's going to understand that a particular country has been selected write the event and law methods so we need to write the event handler method here. So the, the name of the function is open details. Let me just come here. And here we have open dialog with template ref. Uh, so I'm going to change this one to open as, open as. And if I go back here, I'm going to change this to open as. Okay. And the second one is open details. So let's go change this one. Uh, let's go create open details. We can actually just copy this and paste. Let me copy this and paste this side by side here. So I'm going to paste this. It's going to be open details. Okay. And uh, let me see. Uh, this is a dialog. So it's going to open a dialog box. Uh, let's see. Yes, so we have this template ref with any, okay. Dialog would open the template ref, okay, that's fine. Okay, now we need to send a second parameter. So we have this, uh, let me see, we have this template ref, any, and the second parameter is going to be country. Uh, so they have a little bit of challenge. So let's say this is any for now. So this is the second parameter, which is a 
uh, the, the country you have selected. So at this point, I'd like us to just uh, test to display when the someone clicks on the open uh, details, we want to see the selected country if, if it actually is uh, selected. So I'm going to say console.log, so console.log, and we want to display the country like this. So let's try it out just to make sure we're on, on track. So I'm going back here, I'm going to refresh my page, I'm going to do this, this one works. So let's exit. So let me open my inspector. And my inspector, I'm going to go to console. For now, let's just do this. So I'm going to click on details. And when I click on details, it opens the uh, form and also it displays the select line and you can see it's front. So let's go to try another one. Let me try uh, United States details. You can see it displays United States in the console. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. Now we are not submitting, but we only need to maybe uh, change this button to exit. Okay, so let's go continue. Now we want to display the selected records in the in the model, all right? So this is um, where we now have to display the selected record in the model. So I'm going to just um, yeah. So I'm going to copy this and paste. Um, so whole lot of get elements by ID. So I'm going to, there are five of them. Document that get element by ID. So let me explain to you. Uh, why this problem is happening here that says uh, object is possibly no, which is true in case it doesn't find this object that has that ID, this ID. So one thing we can do is we can check if it's no uh, before we actually assign it. But I think we can also add the uh, this operator at the end, maybe. Right, so you can add this. You can add this operator at the end of the get element by ID. Try now to see if it actually displays the items. Um, here, let me kind of uh, say height. Uh, I don't know, but let's also try 60, 60% here. Okay. So let's try to see if it works and then we continue from there. So I'm going back here, this one still, sorry, not you. So this one still works, okay, so details. Okay, so, so far it works, as you can see, but the description here is now undefined, right? So I guess you can solve this one. So we have this here, but the, the here we have um, uh, input ID is DCR for description, DCR, okay, as an input. Or description. Um, let's see. So we have DCR. That's correct. Okay, we have an error here. So we have description. So if I save now, we have. Uh, so if I go to details, if I if I click on save, nothing happens. So uh, what we can do is just put change this one to close and then allow it to dismiss this function. So I'm going back to the HTML here and I'm going to change this to I think there's a way to say dialog more than math dialog close, I think. Uh, like this, maybe. And I'm going to just call it close. Okay, so if I save everything and if I click on details and say close and it closes. So for now, we are done with the details. What I can recommend you for you to do now change this both uh, change this text field to read only so for instance uh, you can just come here and just say read only because we are not submitting anything so you can just make it uh, read only so let me just change all of them to to read only and let's see how we what we have yeah so it makes more sense now so we have completed the details model the next part we are now going to be talking about actually editing. Now editing is going to be easy for you because now you have you know how it works. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, like and share this video. Uh, connect with me on Patreon or on, on my social network profile, based Instagram or Facebook or Jeet. You can also find this application on GitHub repository. You can find find the link in the description of this video and also buy me a coffee, support my channel, 
and this way we can grow our, our community and I'll be motivated to continue doing this lessons for you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.